In this segment, we're going to consider American expansion into the Trans-Mississippi West. While we will discuss some of the events that transpired during this era, our primary focus will be on a concept known as historiography. Historiography is essentially the history of history. It examines how historical narratives have evolved over time. Our goal today is to understand how 19th century Americans perceived their westward expansion and how that perception has been transformed in the 20th century. The period we're looking at spans from around 1850 to 1900, a time marked by the settlement of the West. Interestingly, much of what occurred was rather mundane. However, these everyday occurrences were romanticized and mythologized by Americans. They saw the conquest of the West as an extension of the American mission to disseminate ideals, ideology, and civilization across the continent. This notion ties back to the idea of manifest destiny. The theme of the American West has been immortalized in literature, performances such as Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show and, of course, cinema. These portrayals have contributed to a mythologized version of the West, which can make it difficult for us to find the reality of what happened. One of the most enduring symbols of the West is the cowboy, an image that has come to represent the United States both domestically and internationally. However, the real cowboy was not the heroic, freedom-loving figure often depicted in popular culture. In reality, cowboys were young men tasked with the arduous job of herding cattle. Their work was essential but grueling, akin to the manual labor of construction workers or truck drivers today. To illustrate the dichotomy of the cowboy's image, let's consider a portrayal from the L.A. Times dating back to 2003. This depiction emerged amid debates over the United States' proposed invasion of Iraq. Americans generally were enthusiastic about getting Saddam, encouraged by the national media, but some of our allies, particularly the French, were less so. This disagreement led to a temporary rebranding of French fries as freedom fries in some American circles. In this portrayal, we see two contrasting images, the American view of the cowboy as a clean cut, star-wearing hero in a white hat, and the European perspective of the cowboy as a disheveled, gun-toting bandit standing amidst chaos. Both images, however, underscore the cowboy as an emblematic figure of America, interpreted either as a hero or a villain. At the center of this imagery is President George W. Bush, who was advocating for the invasion of Iraq at the time. The key takeaway here is that the cowboy has become a potent symbol of American identity, reflecting varying perceptions of the United States both at home and abroad. We immediately see that reporting the West as any history is not just the facts. There are facts and there is perception, and the historian's task is to consider the facts in light of the perceptions to come to a conclusion relevant to us. Please proceed to answer the questions in the assignment on Canvas. If you have any questions, you can post them in the open forum discussion or contact the professor using Canvas email. 